So I'm going to show that if I take the circumcircle of a triangle, I take the tangent at two of its vertices, um, and then do the angle bisector between the, those tangents and the chord, that those two angle bisectors um, uh, cross each other on the circle. Um, again, things will become clear as I draw them. There's my triangle. Uh, create a circumcircle, selecting three points, and uh, this tool. I'm going to create tangents, select the point, and the circle. Tangent, constraint, but the point at uh, the circle and uh, the tangent. Uh, now I'd like to take the angle bisector between this and this. That's my bisector tool. It will give me one of the two angle bisectors. Give me the wrong one. Uh, to get the right one, I just need to select that point and that line, and I will uh, take the perpendicular. So there's the angle bisector I wanted. Now let's see if it gives me the right one in this case. Angle bisector, yeah, I've now got the two angle bisectors I want. And I can find the intersection. Now, one way I could approach this would be um, to look at for the distance and show that these distances were the same. Um, my worry about that approach is that we're talking in terms of distances where everything we've done is, has been angles. And so I think it's better to constrain uh, my system in this with an angle, make that theta, and now ask for the angle between these two lines. Um, for this to be a cyclic quadrilateral, we know that should be um, that pi minus theta. So let's do that. Angle in L4, L3. By my theta, as we wanted. That tells me that E, that this is a cyclic quadrilateral, um, A, B, C, E.